the remake of the 2019 Telugu language romantic drama Majili and the first directorial venture of Ritesh Deshmukh with starring himself and Janelia D'Souza in the lead roles was released on Disney Plus Hotstar a few days ago. So we thought this would be the perfect time to give you an overview, explain the ending and discuss the film in detail. But before that a spoiler warning is in order for those who haven't watched the film yet as we will be discussing important plot points and character details from the movie. And if you are done watching it already, kindly follow us through the video. And yeah, while you're at it, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. It helps us a lot. Thank you and let's move on to the basic plot of the film. The film starts with a cricket match and a local political leader Bhaskarana manipulates the game by bribing the umpire. The local team UA11 is about to lose when some dudes retrieve an alcoholic from the seashore. The drunk man comes to the game and seems completely unconcerned about his surroundings but when he hears that it is Bhaskarana's team playing against the local kids, he instructs them how to play the shots through a phone call and they are able to win the match. When the kids invite him for a celebration, he asks them to book a particular room for him in the Taj and while checking a cricket match, he drowns in his memories of a time when he was naive and young. Then we cut back to 12 years ago when together with his father Dinka Jadav, Satya Jadav resided in Mumbai. He is an avid cricket fan and hopes to be chosen for the regional railways cricket team before moving on to the Indian cricket team. But he needs to bribe a guy to be noticed by the coach, so he does odd jobs to collect the amount. He encounters Nisha while looking for money and after initial misunderstanding at a marriage ceremony, they get to know one another. As he sabotages the ceremony, Nisha tries to ruin his selection match but after learning the truth, she forgives him and they fall in love. Meanwhile, Bhaskarana threatens and buys off an umpire for a match. On the match day, Satya's captain outs him and tells the coach that Satya lost the match intentionally after fixing it with Bhaskarana. The coach dumps his ass from the team and Bhaskarana tries to buy him off too. Then he plays for the opponent team and wins the match. Nisha's father, who is an extremely strict naval commander and a disciplinarian, does not see him fit to marry his daughter. When Satya was having an intimate moment with Nisha, Bhaskar tried to have his way with her, so he hit the gangster and ran from that place with Nisha. Bhaskar, on the other hand, tells Nisha's father that Satya was caught harassing her, so Nisha's father hires Bhaskar to teach him a lesson. Meanwhile, Satya's coach understands his mistake, so he asks him to come to the next election match. But that day, Bhaskar's men try to beat him, so Nisha takes him to the Taj Hotel and keeps him safe for the time being. He is eager to attend the match, but Nisha leaves him making a promise to return, but she never does. Nisha's father tells her that Bhaskar has killed Satya and takes her with him to Delhi. She gets married to Kunal, but after some years, she dies along with her husband and leaves behind a beautiful daughter called Khushi, who from childhood has been interested in cricket. After Nisha's unannounced departure, Satya descends into extreme darkness, he experiences severe depression and turns to alcohol. He even abandons his desire to play cricket and becomes a full-time alcoholic. His self-inflicted wounds affect his father and he has a heart attack. But when his neighbor's daughter comes to tell Satya, she finds him about to commit suicide. She feels sorry for the family and decides to marry him. Satya was unaware that Shravani had been in love with him since they were young. She initially distanced herself from Satya after finding out about his love for Nisha. But she eventually got married to him after feeling Dinkar and Satya's anguish. However, Satya did not marry Shravani out of love but rather under his father's pressure. Shravani's parents were against the marriage but she convinced them to listen to her demands. Since then, she has been living with the Jada family and tending to their needs. In the present day, Satya wakes up in the same hotel room where Nisha left him and learns that his wife is being harassed by Bhaskar's men. He beats them up and gets arrested, so Shrabani comes to his rescue and gets him out. Instead of working, he spends his time revisiting his memories of Nisha and drinking every day. Shrabani, who works for the Indian Railways, provides him with the income he needs to purchase alcohol. Her love for him is one-sided as she knows that he won't ever be able to love her back. She also has a cute dynamic with her father-in-law and both of them try to heal Satya's wounds. One day while drinking booze, Bhaskar insults Satya and he decides to take the coaching job in Delhi. After reaching there, he finds an arrogant little girl playing cricket in the academy. It is none other than Kushi, Nisha's daughter, but Satya is unaware of that fact. He suspends her for a nosy attitude, but when Nisha's father comes to talk with the coach, he gets a massive surprise. 
At first, Satya tries to attack him for causing him eternal anguish, but when he learns from Nisha's father that Nisha and Kunal perished in an accident and Kushi is their only daughter, he decides to coach her and takes the little girl along with him to his house. Despite learning that Kushi is Nisha's daughter, Sravan accepts her with open arms and it seems Kushi's arrival brings forth a massive change in Satya's life. He generally starts to quit alcohol and all the bad habits and he coaches Kushi to become a great player. One day while practicing, Bhaskar tries to tease the little girl and Satya beats him up and his goons badly. But it was too late as Kushi got to learn about Satya's love for her mother. She scolds him for his violent attitude and also reprimands him for misbehaving with Shravan. He promises to change and the little girl understands the reason for his self-harming attitude. She then insists on playing for the railway team but as none of her parents work there, her selection is not possible. But Shravani works for the railway so Satya tries to tell her everything. Then they have a pretty sweet ice breaking session and both of them decide to adopt Kushi. But Kushi on the other hand insists that she will only consent to be their adopted daughter if they can resolve their differences and stay together. From that point on, Satya proves to be a loving and caring husband, but after Kushi's selection, when Satya goes to the Taj Hotel once again, Sravani cannot help but speculate that he didn't get over Nisha and has been acting all along as a caring husband to keep Kushi near him. After learning this, she decides to leave him and get a transfer to Nagpur, leaving Satya, Kushi and Dinkar behind. Dinkar has never raised a hand on his son since his wife died, but seeing the turn of events, he could not help but slap Satya. Dinkar berates him for his carelessness and when Satya goes to drop her off at the railway station, Sravani points out his flaws and tells him her entire story of how she has been rooting for and caring for Satya from the very beginning. Listening to all this, Satya finally confesses his love and tells her the actual reason he went to the hotel room to finally let go of Nisha's memories. They embrace each other and share a kiss and the film ends on a happy note with everyone in the family organizing another marriage for Satya and Shravan. The title Wait is a Marathi word that closely translates to lunacy. It depicts the mind space of the characters as they insanely fall in love with one another. After Nisha's departure, Satya became an alcoholic and stopped caring about everything around him. But after finding Kushi, he madly attempts to help the little girl to achieve her goals, without actually giving a thought to what would his family feel. Despite all that, he learns to control his rage and madness and starts to see the amount of love and care Sravani has been bestowing over his family and the little girl. He starts to see her as his partner and finally accepts her love for him. Shravani on the other hand fallen in love with Satya at a very young age and after learning everything and also understanding that Satya might not ever be able to love her back, decides to marry him and despite his constant coolness, she keeps on loving him insanely. In the end, Satya is finally able to see her emotions and decides to be with her forever. Though the film is a remake, it is as impactful as the original and sometimes even surpasses the source material. The character dynamics are beautiful and Ritesh and Janelia's on-screen chemistry looks pretty good too. The minimalist storytelling approach is also good which makes the story even more personal. And as a first time director, Ritesh Deshmukh did a fantastic job. Hey hey hey, thank you for watching this video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching Wade on Disney Plus Hotstar. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema series. See you at the next one and for the timing we are signing off, Nidopa and I'll be back.